Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to be installing Java 64-bit for Windows and you'll want to take a look at the video description on this because I've, I've, I've added a bunch of links um, that can help you do this. We're going to cover all this in the video but I just want you to have the, the, the actual link to these areas online. Um, let me show you, you know, in in a game, for example, uh, Minecraft, where 64-bit Java would come in useful. Before we get to the installation, I'm just running Minecraft here. I want to show you, you know, the difference here of 64-bit and 32-bit. Okay, this is. Render distance is what we're looking at, and mine is set to normal right now. Okay, so you can take a look out here, and you can see how far you can see. They put this depth of field down there, which is like a haze, uh, to where you can't see very far. If we go down there, you can see these things start to come into um, come into view. All right, so what we want to do is increase that view, and one of the ways we can do that is by installing um, a 64-bit Java. So I'll show you what that does right here. And actually, I don't have it installed right now. It'll tell you a 64-bit Java installation is recommended for far render distance. You have 32-bit. And you can you can see it kind of working here. It's it's trying. It's a little bit slow, but um, let's go and then start to install this. Okay, so the, one of the things you want to do is let's just verify the the current Java that you have right now. If you just click the the first link there in the description, it'll take you to this page where you can click Verify Java. Let's go ahead and click that. And our version here is version 7 update 9. Okay, We want 64-bit, so let's go back to the list over here or the video description and download um, by clicking the second link and that's the 64-bit Java installer. Actually, you know what, before we install this, let's verify that you have a 64-bit operating system and one of the ways you can do that is click on the start menu and then go up to computer or yours may say my computer right click on that and go to properties and here it will tell you what operating system you're running um, this one under system system type 64-bit operating system so you need that installed before this is going to work okay so make sure that you're running a 64-bit OS and once you've done that, you can download the software that you need here. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. Follow me here. If you scroll down, uh, we're on a Windows machine, so we're going to select the Windows Offline 64-bit. Go ahead and click it. And now we're downloading the EXE. If you don't know where your downloads is putting it, one of the quickest ways to do it is once this window is open, go ahead and click open containing folder and it'll take you right to the file. Okay, mine shows up on the desktop. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to that file. Let's go back to the video description. Um, I've added another link here, which is the full instructions. We're gonna cover it in this video, but I want you to have the the link so you can go through it for yourself. Maybe you're running, uh, maybe you're on a Mac and this will tell you how to install it on a Mac or maybe you're using a different browser. Um, for whatever your needs are, this page will, will cover it. If we don't cover it in this video, you can find it, you can find it here. Okay, so that's the third link down in the video description. 
64-bit Java instructions. So let's move on. We've downloaded Java. We've verified that you're on a 64-bit OS. What we need to do now is remove your old Java. So we want to go to Start, Control Panel, and look around in here for Programs, and then click Uninstall a Program. Scroll down until you see Java. This is Java 7, Update 9. We're going to click Uninstall right here and just let this uninstall and just follow any instructions this thing gives you okay we've uninstalled it now we want to install the 64-bit version so go to the exe you downloaded double click it yes and click install we have successfully installed Java let's go ahead and close that window okay now that we have the Java installed we want to verify our browser okay I'm using Firefox you may be using Internet Explorer Chrome Safari Whatever you're using, I'm sure it's the same. If you click on the browser, open it up, and find the help se section here, and go to about that browser, or about Firefox in this case. And in this case, it doesn't say 64, and that means we're running a 32-bit uh, browser. So we need to update the browser as well. Okay, and in the description, uh, near, near the bottom, <clears throat> I've added some links to, to get uh, Firefox 64-bit and Internet Explorer 64-bit. Um, I'm sure if you Google 64-bit Safari, 64-bit Chrome, you'll find those links as well. But for now, I'm going to go to the Firefox link, and you'll see that in the video description. Let's go download this. Once you click that, it'll take you to this page. So I'm going to go with the top one. This is to download Firefox Nightly EXE installer. Let's go with that one. Just right click and select Open Containing Folder. And that will open to the directory where you downloaded it. Okay, so that's downloaded. So let's go ahead and install that. You don't have to remove your browser, you can run both. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and double click on the file we just downloaded to update the browser. I would select custom on this. So we can select and uncheck any, you know, adware or, you know, toolbars or things like that. We can just unselect them. And in this case, I don't think they're going to add any. We're good to go. All right. So this is our 64-bit browser. And one of the things I think we need to do is update some of the the plugins that we have. I think the Flash plugin needs to be updated. Let's see here. No, I have it installed, but you know what? I'll put that in, in the in the description too. So go ahead and and install that Flash um, player if you need to for nightly. Okay, so everything's installed. We followed this list. Let's verify that the game works, that Minecraft actually updated. I'm just gonna go into the game and turn it turn on far rendering so we can see it.
So you notice I don't get that message anymore, which is good. That means it's working. Let's go test this. Mine's gonna be a little bit laggy because I have the video software running with it. But let's just see this work. Yeah, it's a little bit slow because the I'm recording. That's another good reason to buy a new computer. So you can see we can render a lot farther. That's my Death Star. Um, 82 by 82 cubes. Which was massive to build in that little... So okay, so you can see we, we can we can see a lot. I think it has to render first. Let's go down there and yeah, it's coming in. Nice Death Star looming above over there. Okay, so you can see this is working. We should be able to see, yeah, there it is. Yeah, we can see the Death Star from here, which is great because you, it's pretty far. All right, so let's just walk through this city real quick. You see the 64-bit Java working. Yeah. And then we'll go back to the top. We'll go up there and look down. So yeah, that's working great. Fly up here real quick and I'm gonna get a shot from the top looking down. Let's take a look down there. That is 64-bit. It's still rendering a little bit out here. Uh, plus the computer's really lagging right now from the video software, but you can see this working. So we can see a lot farther. So it's definitely worth it. Let's get out of here. Okay, so that's how you install 64-bit Java on a Windows machine. If you're on a Mac, again, follow these instructions here. Um, actually, it's this one, and it'll tell you, you know, word for word how to how to do the same technique on a on a Mac. All right. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.